and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Team video again today. I'm doing a Madden 20 Budget Beast list. Now, as you guys know, Budget Beast doesn't apply to everyone. It applies to people who are trying to build a lower overall team. So a lot of you guys with God Squads probably could care less. Although, Budget Squads are always fun to build anyways. Now, the reason I'm doing this video now is because the market has come down a little bit from all the new content that's dropped. So a lot of players that once were expensive have kind of fallen into Budget Beast territory. And there's some other players that I just saw. I'm always searching through the auction for Budget Beast players. I like making this video. I don't make it too often. Now, you guys were asking why did I make it so often last week because I was away in Spain. And, you know, I was trying to make videos that I could post during the week that wouldn't change. I feel like Budget Beast is one of those videos. I couldn't make a content video because it wouldn't be relevant when it came out. So I did two Budget Beast videos. This one's going to be very updated. This one is some of the guys that I just found as well as, like I said, some guys that have came down in price. So they fall down to that, to that range now. Now, guys, if you're already to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. You guys are going crazy with it. Let's get to 20k as quickly as possible. Comment down below if you guys have any budget beasts to add to this list. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes on this video, guys? We greatly appreciate it. Now, let's head over to the auction block and check out our first player. Now, here's the thing. The first player is an optional budget beast. Now, he's fallen in price a decent amount, which is why I have to add him onto this list. But, he's still a decently expensive. That's why he's number 10. Because he's not exactly the best bang for your buck. Well, he is the best bang for your buck, but he's going to be expensive in terms of budget beast teams. Now, I think he's solid. Probably the best quarterback you can have on a budget team. I'd rather allocate some of the funds to get this this Lamar Jackson right here. 102K. Uh, honestly, guys, I don't think you understand how good this Lamar Jackson is. For 102K, if you can just take some coins out of somewhere else in your budget team, Lamar Jackson's solid. He can get Escape Artist, which is very hard to get on, 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 a, on a budget team. But he can't get escape artist. He's super fast. He can make great plays for you, and he can decently pass. And you can, even, you can even power him up. That's why he's number ten because obviously not everyone can afford to have that. Now number nine is a quarterback that's slightly more affordable, and that is 67k Steve Young. Now I think he's the best budget beast QB because you save a lot of coins on him. And remember, if you do power him up, you can get escape artist and dashing dead eye. I don't think you guys understand how huge that is. If you power him up, you can run away like any other quarterback in the game, and you can pass completely accurate on the run. Steve Young is a god, even to this day, he's still amazing. Best quarterback for a budget beast team. There's no other option. Get him, and you're looking pretty good. Now, next is not Nick Bosa. That card was actually asked when it came out. Next one is going to be someone who probably won't be leaving this list for a little bit because he's so, so cheap. I factor price into this too, just because there's a better card out there, but he's twice the price. Doesn't mean it's entirely worth it. I think that this card is definitely more worth it. That's Aaron Donald. Now, it says he goes for, uh, what is that, 38K? Not 40K, but if you filter him out, 41K, you can definitely find him for cheaper on certain days, but 41K is still amazing. Aaron Donald, only he's only up right now because he's part of the power set for the new Aaron Donald that came out. But this Aaron Donald is a beast. I highly recommend you guys pick him up. He can do everything. And remember, you can also power these guys up, which just leads to way more potential. You can even power them up a little bit further, so you can probably get like a 90. There's so much you can do with Aaron Donald. You can do it all. I've had him on my team since the day I picked up his core lead. I have not had to change him, which says a lot. Considering I think he's amazing. I highly recommend you guys pick him up now next is going to be a Left outside linebacker for the Bears now. He has been on my team as well He was he's, he's in my binder somewhere. I don't think I don't know if I actually maybe do, do I even have him anymore I don't remember. I, I want, I've always wanted to pick him up, but his LTD card It's just too much for an LTD I, I, I picked Sean Taylor instead of him which did kind of suck because I did want Khalil Mack but I haven't been able to justify having two pass rushing outside linebackers, but trust me, for an outside linebacker, if you don't have Lawrence Taylor yet, which is going to be way more expensive, pick up Khalil Mack on the left side, rock him as your 4-3 rusher, solid card, and again, another guy you can power him up, you can get him a little bit further up, because his next card's not until I believe his 90, ooh, I forget the next Khalil Mack card, his kickoff card, right, his kickoff card, so you can probably power him up like one more time before then. Still, even if you can't, still gonna get like an 89 overall 90 just with chems. Solid card for 32k. You really can't beat that. Next is a guy that I recently discovered. I, uh, I was on my last list. Now, I believe he has a 90 overall football outsider. And that is Jair Alexander. Is once once I find him, I'm on, I'm on teams, aren't I? Yeah. My mic covers that sometimes, so I can't see that filter. But that should be good. I believe he's an 89. Alright, that's what I thought the first time. Now, Jair Alexander, 33k. I'm telling you guys, one of the best cornerbacks in Madden for 30k. 30k you get 89 speed right 89 excel 90 agility so you're getting great athleticism already on a budget team for 33k 80 jumping modest 
83 player rec season, 85 man, 81 zone, 87 press. Now, what's important here is that there's no like there's no ditch stats, right? Typically, when you get a cornerback for 33k, if he has good speed, he's probably gonna have like a, a, a 75 zone or like a 75 man or like a 75 press, a ditch stat, like a stat that the car just doesn't have. Like it's just you you have to just accept that you're not gonna have that kind of ability. He can do everything decently while being fast, which I think is a lot better because he will make plays. He will have that those moments. Where he does things a guy with a 75 man will never be able to man up someone a guy with a 75 zone will never be able to play in zone a guy with a 75 press can never press jair has will, will have moments where you'll have moments of greatness he's not going to be consistently great because he's 30k right you can't expect consistently great for 30k but those those stats put you in good position to have moments with them which i was kind of what you wanted a budget team right a guy that could have those moments he won't be consistent because he doesn't have the overpowered stats because even overpowered cards aren't that consistent next on the list is debo samuel this card is looking super, super solid. He cannot be powered up, obviously, but he has 91 speed, 92 jumping, 91 catching, 90 catch and trapping, 92 spec catch. So back, back up for a second, right? What other guy could you have on your budget team with above with a 91 plus speed if you kept him up? A 91 or 90 in general plus catching. So he's one of the best catchers with 85 or above route running, just about. If you put on certain camps, you can even get his route running a little bit higher. Now just think about that, right? You get great route running, amazing catching with great speed on a budget team. He can do everything again. He can have those moments. He has the ability to have those moments with an 84 juke and an 8, well, 83 juke and 84 spin. So this card's looking super solid. I really do like this Debo Samuel card. And next on the list is just kind of like the alternate to this Debo Samuel card. Now it really just depends. Now, do I think this card is better than Debo Samuel? No, but he's cheaper. So I'm gonna put him there. It's kind of like Lamar and Young again. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. Going to be a decent option for you guys in terms of what you prefer. Now, this John Ross, you can get him for about 40K. Filter him out properly. He's going to be faster by three than Debo Samuel, but he cannot route run him too well and he cannot catch too well. So it's a matter of would you rather have plus three speed or consistent catch and consistent route running? That's really up to you. 44K, 45K, 40K for the, the regular one. And if you filter, you can probably get it even cheaper. Again, that comes down to what you guys think is the move on that. I can't decide for you. It comes down to what your budget actually is at the end of the day. Now, this guy right here, solid, solid guy. Whatever it shows you don't look at that. I have to get the team in. This guy, I didn't think he'd be this solid, but he's super solid. I don't know what team he falls under. I mean, what is he's on the Saints now. But I, th I thought that the veteran card would have been on an old team. Lat Murray, 90 overall halfback. I don't know when this card came out. I, I don't. Must have, yeah, maybe probably recently, honestly. This card is looking really solid. 90 speed. 92 excel 88 agility 90 carrying 63 catching 76 looseness 88 trucking 83 break tackle again there's really no ditch stats here usually on a on a budget halfback 49k right if you get good speed and good excel and good agility you're gonna have bad carrying if you don't have bad carrying you have no you well, first off if you have speed on a budget back you don't have you don't have trucking or break tackle you don't have power he has power with the height with speed with good carrying with excel with agility i think he's one of the best budget backs in madden right now and he also comes with a 88 stiff arm, 84 spin, and 87 juke guys. Most well-rounded back with no ditch stats. I think this is a move. You can pair him to some other guys. Like even Saquon Barkley. Same speed. Late, lad is better excel. Less agility, le less carrying, less catching. Less elusiveness, better trucking, less break tackle. But remember, this is Saquon we're talking about. That's Lat Murray. Veteran card. Super cheap. I think he's a solid budget option. Although guys like Saquon will start inching their way into there slowly but surely as time goes on. But for the time being, great option in my opinion. Next, we're a cornerback for the Atlanta Falcons. And that's going to be Robert Alford, the new card for the Super Bowl promo. Guys, he's just super well-rounded. 91 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility. Just like Jair Alexander, right? Great, even better athleticism than Jair. So like, okay, solid. 92 jumping, even way better jumping. 85 play rec, solid. 85 man coverage, solid. 87 zone, solid. 88 press. So what does this card tell you? If you get this card in your team and you put lockdown max on him, right? He gets a 90 zone and a 90 press and like an 88 play rec. So he's going to have top tier speed, 91, 91, 89 agility. Top tier jumping, so top tier athleticism overall. With the 90 throne, 90, 90, throne, 90 zone coverage threshold and the 90 press coverage threshold. So you mean to tell me he's going to be one of the most physical corners. Great in zone. Pretty great in man with 88 man. As well as top tier athleticism again no ditch stats i love this robert alford i think he's one of the most solid options you can pick up you put him and jay alexander on both sides you have a pretty solid secondary alone just with that and now number one not so number one he's solid i like him but i'm starting to think that a lot might be might have been better but you have to understand that this card's a bit cheaper 
And Lat Murray, I, I put on the list, but I think, I don't know. It comes down to you guys, right? Because 27K is half the price, Matt Burita, and he's faster. So it comes down to, would you rather have the extra, the, the plus two speed or the way better trucking and brake tackle? Are you a power runner or a speed runner? This is why I put this guy on the list, because this guy, this guy fits any scheme at the end of the day. And he's faster and half the price. So on a budget team, he's got to make, make number one. For 27K, you get the, one of the fastest running backs with great excel, great agility, decent carrying, decent looseness. He, but he has punt stats. That's the only issue. He has a punted catching, punted trucking, punted break tackle, and decent carry. Lat Murray only punts really catching. That's about it. But every running back punts catching are nowadays in, this, in Madden. So, it's overall my opinion, guys. Up to you guys on what you guys want to do. Take that list any way you like it. I feel like any of those players can be interchangeable on the number-wise based on your team and based on the budget you have to spend. Guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below if you think there should be any other budget players on this list that I did miss out on. And I'll update accordingly. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys, before you head on out. Let me know if you're still watching. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Check out the other vids. Peace.